Hi, Clint Kuhn's here with Anderson Business Advisors. And in this video, we're gonna talk about structuring hotels. All right, let's get started. So you're thinking about investing in hotels. You're like, I've done residential real estate. I've done commercial real estate. Let's take it to a whole different level. So you go out there and you find a property, a hotel, and then you start scratching your head going, what is the best way to structure this property from an asset protection and a tax perspective? Well, surprisingly, it's not that difficult, but there are some different ways you want to look at it from an operational standpoint that I think are really important that you should focus on if you're going to go down this road. So let's first talk about how we should acquire the hotel. Well, if you're getting involved in hotels, I would assume that you're a real estate investor who materially participates. That means you spend at least 50% of your time, 750 hours a year on real estate related activities because hotels are no easy thing. You just don't wake up one morning, you know, you've had one, uh, maybe you've had a double wide rental for the last three years and you go, what? I'm going to start with the hotels now. It doesn't happen that way. Only a monopoly. So, you decide now you're going to set up, get your, acquire your first hotel. What I would recommend you do is you create a limited liability company in the state where you're going to acquire this, this hotel. So now you got this hotel set up right here in my LLC. Now, from a tax standpoint, which this is the important part here about, about this structure, how do you want to set it up? Well, what made me want to create this video is I recently spoke to an individual who actually has four hotels that he's acquired, all right, uh, that he'd, that he'd uh, set up some entities for. I'm just going to put three on the board here. And you'll notice I'm putting LLCs up there. This individual actually set them up in C corporations. Now, the problem I have with that, which we discovered and we're having to do some planning for, is that by creating them in C corporations and not LLCs, all of his flow through losses that could come from depreciating the expenses that go in running the hotels. That means even though they make cash, they still throw off losses. It's all trapped inside of that corporation. That means it doesn't flow down to him. So he's not able to take advantage of these losses that could be hitting his 1040 and offsetting his other forms of income because his tax practitioner trapped him, trapped these income in these structures that he created as C corporations. And he said, hey, with the C corporation, the tax practitioner told him that there's more you can do from an expense side, how you use your funds. Well, you can still get that, but you can still get the best of both worlds when you combine the two different structures, as I explained to him. So with hotels, what I want to do is create LLCs. And typically, I'm going to have these LLCs set up as partnerships. All right. So you have them as partnerships from a tax standpoint. Uh, or what you might want to do, they could be disregarded. I prefer to do it as a partnership. So then down here, I'm going to have a holding company. I would make this Delaware LLC right here, and it's going to own each of these LLCs like this. This is the one um, in this type of structure. It'll all flow through here. Now, let me back up. One thing to also consider is that if you intend to sell these properties at any given point in time, that is, if you're buying them with the intent to renovate them, stabilize them, and then sell them, then you may not want to follow this structure like this. Okay, you're, What you're going to want to do instead is um, set these up where they file tax returns. So each of these should be filing separate tax returns rather than using this holding structure. So what you might want to do in that case is have two structures set up like this. I would have a uh, one LLC here. I know you're going, well, this is, I have to create two structures. Yeah, I would do two. And I have another Delaware LLC right here. And I would have them own 50-50, just like this. All right, so I'd break them up. And then you could be down here owning, uh, owning uh, these two Delaware LLCs, or maybe you got your spouse on there as well. But the purpose now by structuring it this way was that we put two partners in each of the LLCs. So as a result of that, they're going to file a partnership 1065 tax returns. And the reason why you would want it to file a tax return is that if you're looking to sell them in the future, you need to have all that income on a tax return because it makes it easier for a buyer to come in and obtain financing. 
because the lenders for the buyers are going to want to see tax returns filed for whatever property you, you're selling. And if you don't do it that way and you run it through a holding company that's only filing the tax return, then that's going to make it much more difficult for them to segregate out the income. So when you have distinct units, I, I strongly encourage you on the commercial context and hotels, all of those LLCs that have these separate units should file their own tax return. So anyways, so you've got this structure set up. So this is, uh, they're set up as partnerships. You have asset protection. Now comes the aspect of running the hotel itself. So this individual that, I, that I'm now working with, he had employees set up in each of these uh, corporations. So each of them hired its own employees and he was pulling salaries, W-2s out of multiple companies. And I looked at it and I said, you know, that's expensive and it's cumbersome to do it that way. We need to consolidate that. So from a hotel standpoint, what I would do then recommend is I would create a C Corp up here and this is going to be the hotel management entity. So it's going to manage all of the properties. It's going to supply the personnel that will work on all of these hotels. So all your employees are run through this company right here, right up here. This is where you pull your W-2, your salary, out of this company up here. And so now you're starting to simplify at your costs. You're also keeping all the accounting up here at this one particular entity. So then you've now brought, rather than running all these three separate business units, you've really consolidated through that one management corporation uh, for handling that. So what these hotels can do then, they can collect the income up here, right? And then they pay the company its management fee to handle all the management activities. So that's situation number one. An alternative situation you could do is similar to my Airbnb strategy. Watch the Airbnb video. I go into this in, in, in a lot of depth. You could uh, adopt the Airbnb or what I call the Four Seasons approach to hotel management. That is, you don't, you lease the properties to the company. So the company corporation leases the properties from your various LLCs here. So that keeps passive income flow down here. And then it runs the, the hotels. Now, I would use this strategy if you're intending to build name recognition. So let's say you want to become the next Marriott chain or the Hilton out there. So in that case, you're going to operate under one name. You want to brand yourself. It's really simple to do that then when you have your corporation that creates the brand, right, run all those properties. And so the way I would accomplish that is I would lease the properties to the corporation and let the corporation then run it under one brand. So now you have consolidation at the corporate level. The money that comes back here is all going to be passive. It's not active. And you can go about running your business that way. So however you structure it, when you're looking to go into hotels, I would set up an LLC for the particular hotel property for the asset protection. And then I would have my management corporation up here, a C corporation controlling everything. So I want consolidation. It's going to drive my costs down and it's going to make ease of administration that much simpler. My name is Clint Coons with Anderson Business Advisors. And in this segment, we talked about hotel structure.